working on a new numerical model, very sophisticated and uh, high fidelity numerical model to simulate the complex physics that happen in the near shore region to waves, with particular regards to the flooding uh, risks of uh, coastal areas. This model is based on a uh, smooth particle hydrodynamic uh, uh, solver and uh, we, we would like to use uh, this uh, new high fidelity model uh, to reproduce uh, the hydrodynamic phenomena in uh, coastal uh, area, specifically in a uh, surf region and uh, we want to reproduce um, the problem like uh, overtopping in a uh, seawall or, uh, or in a uh, sea structure, the run up of the wave. This is a very relevant problem at the moment. Most of the current models can arrive quite close to the coast, but not in the particular region where these nonlinear phenomena happen. So with our numerical method, we would like to extend the predictions of the current numerical models to the areas which are more affected by inundations and flooding. The problem is uh, caused by a superimposition of uh, three different effects. Uh, a surge effect due to the extreme uh, storm event, so to the action of uh, wind and waves that creates a, a general rise of the level of the mean water level close to the coast. Then there is the tide effect which uh, adds to this and the last effect is the wave breaking and uh, run up uh, which is on top of this last two effect. To be able to predict uh, in a deterministic way this uh, phenomenon we need uh, new solvers and we uh, have taken the opportunity to use a new class of numerical models which is a, a meshless method so it doesn't use a fixed grid to discretize the problem but is based on a Lagrangian, so called Lagrangian approach because it discretizes the fluid with a number, high number of particles and each particle is representative of the flow in its particular domain and is followed in the evolution, the time evolution in a Lagrangian way. Now Ricardo can actually explain you better the studies that we did to uh, validate this particular solver to the specific problem of uh, wave run up and breaking on the coast. For uh, validate this kind of model, uh, we divide the validation into steps. In the first step, we compare the uh, simulated free surface of periodical wave with the theoretical one. In the second step, we validate the SPH model in the breaking region with uh, high-quality experimental data. Uh, for the first step, we decided to use uh, second and uh, third of the uh, Stokes wave that are commonly used in uh, ocean engineering and uh, we uh, compare with uh, the simulated uh, surface with the theoretical, uh, with the theoretical one. And, um, we decided to take like, a different uh, Stokes wave and uh, we validate uh, the model in the deep water. The wave are produced uh, with flap motion wave maker and uh, we validate uh, the wave in, uh, in the deep water uh, region. And uh, in the first time we use uh, this kind of uh, Stokes wave and uh, after we extend the, uh, the validation in, uh, with, uh, different order, with, with different wave. The validation confirm that the well-tuned SPH model are able to reproduce second order at this order stocks wave and we find an average error between 5% in wavelength and 3% on wave height. 
and, uh, and also after this first study we conduct uh, a sensibility analysis of the uh, parameter that we can change in uh, SPH uh, theory and uh, for calculate the error about uh, the results when we compare the uh, free surface, the simulated free surface with uh, the theoretical ones. In the second step for the validation, we compare the, our model with uh, experimental data and uh, provided by Kimun in 2007 and we uh, reproduce the uh, experimental tank uh, with a numerical tank and we focus on the breaking region. We compare uh, in the same window that uh, we have with the experimental data, the simulated results, and uh, we find an error in the breaking region with average like 3.3%. After this space validation, we decided to study the peninsula of Sidoid, that is uh, uh, south, uh, south of uh, Boston. And uh, that this peninsula is uh, already studied with a different uh, kind of model because during the last storm, there uh, is uh, flooding in a different time. And we start with a bathymetry dataset that we take with, uh, from uh, NOAA. And this is a very accurately bathymetry dataset that we can use like a base of our model. And uh, with uh, ArcGIS uh, software, reproduce this bathymetry that uh, is uh, really important for uh, correctly reproduce the wave uh, transformation uh, in, uh, in surf region. The bathymetry that we use for our model is very accuracy and uh, we can reproduce also the little rock in the surf region and uh, the sea wall, the dimension of the sea wall or also the dimension of the house and with this good bathymetry that are the base for our model we can correctly understand where uh, if there is some flooding problem and with uh, which kind of wave we have some, some uh, flooding problem in this uh, region. We, in the first time, decide to cut our bathymetry in a 2D section and we start to reproduce the wave propagation in this different section. Uh, we start from 500 meters uh, from the coastline and uh, we start to simulate the wave before in the normal condition and uh, after at the propagation in the normal condition and after uh, we reproduce the wave during the storm and uh, when we reproduce the wave in the, during the storm we find uh, different uh, overtopping phenomena and with different uh, flooding phenomena in this region. After this first study, in the 2D study, we uh, uh, extend the, the simulation in, in 3D and uh, the first results that uh, we have is also a different overtopping problem uh, in a different region and uh, also we can see that the wave profile, the wave uh, transformation in the coastline are really well reproduced by uh, our uh, simulation model. This kind of model, SPH uh, model, are really able to reproduce the wave breaking in the surf region. And we start to study different uh, shape of submerged structure for understand how uh, change uh, the energy and the, and the velocity of the, of the breaking. With, with this model, uh, we are really able to understand uh, which is really the best shape of the structure and the best dimension of the structure to reduce the energy and for this, uh, with this uh, to reduce the, the hazard of uh, flooding in, uh, in the coastal region. Billion of people live in a coastal area in the world. Also, the coastal area is the big economic part of the exchange in the world, and for this reason, it's really important to understand what uh, the hydrodynamic phenomena can produce in, uh, in a coastal area. We learned that due to climate change, uh, in uh, 50, 100 years, the level of the ocean especially in the northeastern part of the U.S., will rise uh, 
significantly and the risk of flooding due to uh, extreme event uh, storms uh, will increase. We want to simulate in advance uh, the risks of uh, flooding in different areas of uh, our region to be prepared uh, and uh, react as soon as possible with mitigation or adaptation strategies.